Hi, everybody. Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. We're going to be talking about the United States women's basketball team as they look to gain, earn a place in the gold medal match, trying for gold medal number eight in succession. But uh, the obstacle ahead of them is a tough one. They must beat the Opals, Australia's women's basketball team, which is a very formidable squad. Uh, U.S. is a 16 and a half to 17 point favorite on Friday. It'll be at 11:30 a.m. Uh, check NBC or USA. One of those channels will have it, and it will be a good show because most of the Aussies uh, play in the WNBA. There are names that you should know, at least if you follow the league, you definitely do. Uh, and the United States will be tested in a manner that they have not been thus far in this tournament, even though they played in a pretty tough group. Uh, you've got the Belgian side that they played uh, in group play facing off against France in the second semifinal. So one of those two teams will be in the gold medal match. France was beaten by Australia in group B, uh, but has recovered to uh, not only win that group on point differential, but also reach the semifinal stage. And obviously, if the United States does advance past the Opals, they will uh, be very interested observers in what happens between neighbors Belgium and France. Uh, and uh, Belgium has a, a number of WNBA players, including uh, one that used to play in the WNBA former finals MVP in Emma Miesman, who uh, has already given them trouble once. So uh, we might see new blood in France. We might see Belgium. But first things first, got to get past Australia. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, at this point, it's been Asia Wilson and uh, uh, Brittany Stewart being leading the way for uh, this Brianna Stewart, I should say, leading the way for this uh, U.S. national team. Uh, they have both been dominant. Uh, Brianna Stewart's been great in the mid-range, and Asia Wilson can't miss around the basket. Stewart actually hit two out of three three-pointers in this last game against Nigeria. Uh, only Kelsey Plum also did that because the Achilles heel for this U.S. team has been its shooting uh, thus far. Just nobody can really find the range. Uh, Jewel Lloyd slump continued with a one of six effort. Uh, so the U.S. will need its players to really step up to avoid a close call, which I think is coming. The, the free play for this uh, U.S.-Australia semifinal is to take the points, 16 and a half, 17, whatever you can get with the Australians. I also have a lean towards the over here, like both plays. Both will be client plays, I believe. Uh, but obviously, I'll be rooting for the United States because I want them to continue their dominance globally. And they'll be looking for... Uh, consecutive win number 60 in this game in Olympic competition. Their last loss in the Olympics was to the unified team, the former Soviet Union squad, way back in 1992 in this round, the semifinals in Barcelona. So it's been uh, 32 years since the United States women have lost in the Olympics, and they have a history of dominating Australia uh, throughout. So they, they beat them in the quarterfinals, of the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. They dominated that game 79 to 55. And uh, Brianna Stewart was the top scorer in that one. Asia Wilson played. There was a handful of uh, players that are on this team that played for that one. Same thing goes for uh, the Aussies. But uh, a lot of the Australian players who are here as the top uh, contributors were bench players like uh, Mag Magor. Uh, and Rebecca Smith, so, uh, uh, pardon me, Alana Smith. So we shall see what uh, uh, the Australians bring to the table. Sandy Brondello knows this entire WNBA roster extremely well. She's obviously coached in the league for well over a decade, currently uh, running the show for the New York Liberty. Uh, and at the moment, Cheryl Reeve, who coaches the Minnesota Lynx in her day job, is really leaning on the Las Vegas Aces and their championship expertise to uh, steer the ship, if you will, uh, for this U.S. gold medal run uh, in 2024. We've had uh, Jackie Young join the starting lineup in place of Diana Taurasi, and uh, Chelsea Gray continues to run the point, despite the fact that uh, she's not really looking to score. 
Uh, and so Kelsey Plum is playing a lot of minutes as a combo guard off the bench. And obviously, Asia Wilson, your front runner for WNBA MVP, is leading the charge. She leads the team in points and rebounds and just comes off another double-double uh, going for 20 and 10 against Nigeria. We, we cashed on the uh, U.S.-Nigeria over on uh, Wednesday and we'll probably look to get this high side in as well. But uh, one thing to... Uh, be on the alert for is if this game does uh, end up closer than expected, um, you know, we might see a slower paced fourth quarter, uh, although game extension might uh, lead us to get the uh, high side that we're looking for. Again, the total set at 163 and a half at the time of this taping, but getting, taking the points is what we're going to do. Uh, plus 16 and a half. Uh, you've got the Aussies, um, their leading scorer in their victory over France, which was the, the most uh, impressive one of their wins, uh, saw backup uh, guard Tess Medjin, uh, Medjin, pardon me, the their captain, uh, lead the team in scoring. And uh, she's played, she played a year in the WNBA, uh, typically plays for teams in Australia and is a legend there uh, and is the captain of this team. So hitting three pointers and coming off the bench to give them a boost against France to make sure that they got this far to, to the uh, knockout stages was a big boost for this team. They've got Alana Smith, uh, who plays a huge role with the Minnesota Lynx next to uh, Nafisa Collier. They've got Seattle Storm Center, Ezzie Magbagor, and her, she is the, the key to this game because if she can stay out of foul trouble, she can anchor the Aussies in interior defense. You've got Washington guard Jade Melbourne running the show. Seattle's Sammy Whitcomb, an excellent three-point shooter, also in this mix. The Indiana Fever's Christy Wallace is on this roster. Stephanie Talbot from the LA Sparks. So you go on down the line, this team has a lot of quality depth. They've also got Kayla George, who won a championship with the Aces last year, coming off the bench, and Brondello running the show. And she'll know what Cheryl Reeve will want to accomplish in this game. It doesn't take rock and science to figure out that they want to get the ball to Asia Wilson and Brianna Stewart in advantageous positions. But getting Jackie Young to continue uh, to play as well as she has offensively will be key to keeping the Opals at bay. And so I think the United States ultimately wins this game, uh, something like 85 to 75, uh, maybe a little higher scoring than that, maybe 90 to 80. That's why I'm a little leery on the total. But I do lean towards the high side if it's close enough. Hopefully we get the game extension. But the actual top play for this game, uh, you know, hold your nose and do it. Root for the United States, root for it to be closer than expected, because I believe Australia will test the Americans in a manner that they have not been tested at this Olympic tournament yet. So uh, that's the way we're going here on the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed so you never miss a free pick video. Uh, like all our plays, smash that like button for me. And also be following me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro, where I'm breaking down games in game. So you can get in on some in game bets if your shop offers that option. And uh, you can get in on my uh, takes, which are invaluable if I do say so myself. And uh, also be aware that at sm.buzz slash TDM, you can check out all of my packages. Uh, so you can get free plays there as well. And we've got a lot of site wide specials uh, going on that you should take advantage of at both. Sports Memo and Wager Talk, including a customer appreciation day coming up on Friday. So check out uh, the sites and uh, let's make some money together. Once again, we're riding Australia plus the 16 and a half, 17 points. But do expect the United States to win their 60th consecutive Olympic game and reach the gold medal match against uh, either France or Belgium. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.